Är er alla redo att bli inspirerade? Yes. Det är er så sent på fredagen då, fredagsfika. Så uh, vi ska försöka få upp trycket här och mitt mål idag i alla fall, det är er att lära er eller dig som sitter här idag hur du faktiskt ska använda LinkedIn strategiskt då. Hur vi ska använda den här plattformen för att nå ut till nya affärer, attrahera professionella möjligheter, kvalitetsleads och kunder då. För LinkedIn är er just nu så är er det inte de största möjligheterna för att skapa nya affärer och för oss som professionella att komma ut till flera och visa vårt brand, visa vårt företag och ja, helt enkelt nå ut till flera möjligheter. Och det är därför jag är här idag också. Och det är väldigt kul jag är tacksam för att få vara här. Så en kort introduktion om mig. Jag är känd som Mr. LinkedIn. Och jag hade en sån instans nu för några veckor sedan och då var det faktiskt inte mina konkurrenter där i Sverige som delade en sak utom mig på LinkedIn. Och så skrev hon lyssna på vad Mr LinkedIn har att säga. Och då tror jag faktiskt man har gjort någonting riktigt då. Och det är med hjälp av LinkedIn jag har byggt upp det här brandet också. jag sitter även i juryn för det officiella digitala tankeledarnominationen i Skandinavien. Så en tankeledare är en auktoritet inomför en viss bransch och med hjälp av digitala kanaler och sociala medier så kan man bygga upp detta. Jag är även en av grundarna bakom ett B2B digitalt marknadsföringsbyrå i Oslo och jag bor i Oslo. Jag kommer från början ifrån Falköping. Som ni hör en viss norsk brytning i mitt språk så är det bara för att jag har bott där i sex år. Då. Ni får gärna säga till om ni inte förstår någonting heller så ska jag försöka förklara det och göra om det på svenska. Så de senaste tre åren så har jag hjälpt tusentals av professionella att skapa nya affärer med LinkedIn. Jag har blivit riktigt nörd på detta kan man säga. Och detta är någonting jag brinner för också. Detta är någonting jag älskar. Jag blir inspirerad och, och hjälpa andra och se andra lyckas också. Och det är det jag vill uppnå med dig som sitter här idag. Då. Så det är kort om mig. Och sen är det också några utvalda kunder som vi har jobbat med i linked kurs då. Jag har med mig kollegor här idag också, ifrån mitt team och ifrån företaget också. Eh, Kongsberg, Bisnodes, Via Finans, BNI, Microsoft, IF, Intrum Justitia, Proof, PureHealth, Visma och Resursbank. Så några av de största brandserna inom för B2B. De tar in oss oftast när de vill lära sig hur de ska bruka eller använda LinkedIn mer strategiskt då, för att nå ut till nya affärsmöjligheter. För det är väldigt få som vet hur man faktiskt ska göra det. So, hello everybody, welcome back. We are here today with Christopher Bertilsson. He's a Swede, but he works in Norway right now. And uh, some people call him Mr. LinkedIn. That's right. <laughs> so, what, what is your like current profession and mission? So, my profession is uh, I specialize on personal branding, LinkedIn and how to utilize that platform to reach new opportunities, to build your brand uh, and also get out to new people, get your message out there. So if you have an authentic message, LinkedIn is the best platform right now to utilize to get out your message as well. Mm. Very nice to be here. Well, thank you, Anna. <laughs> we met uh, a year ago at New Year, not this one, but before, so it's uh, interesting coincidence how we link back together in perfect synchronicity synchronicity, synchronicity. <laughs> i love where you're going as well and this podcast is great as well to get this message out to people and i'm grateful to be here with you yeah things grow slowly sometimes but then have faith from nowhere you might grow real fast and linkedin is um, an interesting thing especially for business so why linkedin why why would you recommend that platform? I mean, it's a lot of platforms, but LinkedIn is best. Why? So uh, you have a lot of social media platforms right now, a lot of platforms to focus on. And there's a lot of people that tells you, oh, you should do this, you should do this, and you should focus on this. So one of the biggest things we meet when we're out teaching LinkedIn, personal branding and thought leadership, mm -hmm. it is that you don't know actually which platform to focus on. So LinkedIn right now, why you should focus on LinkedIn is that you have the best organic reach on all the social media platforms as on LinkedIn right now. Mm -hmm. And I usually say that LinkedIn has finally found itself. 
Because LinkedIn has been around since 2003 and it has gone um, through a lot of different designs, yeah. a lot of different changes, yeah. but now finally LinkedIn has found itself, the yeah. platform has opened up, we can build positions, we can utilize content, we can network with interesting people, we can get our message out there. And it's a professional platform as well, which means that we reach the professional people, reach people in leadership positions. So if we are doing coaching, consulting, speaking, mm. these are some of the best people we can reach. Mm. So that's why I'm with this right now. Yeah, and I mean, we are in Cafe Opera right now, and Morten Gillenstjerna used uh, a lot of LinkedIn to get the amazing people here for your speech here today. And uh, we have learned some very valuable uh, content to uh, continue our journey on Thank LinkedIn. You. Uh, so what what would be a three or choose a number or just give your best tips for a beginner on LinkedIn that's just new there? Uh, of course, very good question. So for a beginner, usually it's about getting out there, trying it out and not being scared of uh, just doing it basically. So to start off with LinkedIn, go through your strategy. So what do you want to get out of LinkedIn? Do you want to get new connections, do you want new clients, do you want to upgrade your career, do you want to build thought leadership, or do you want to have a new job, that's okay as well, and it's a very good platform for that. So sit down, write down your strategy, think about this, so you have focus. 80% of what we're doing is mindset basically, and you know this as well. Mindset is a big part of it, and just getting on with it and trying it out is the most important thing and to do that you need a strategy mm. the second step is your personal profile so LinkedIn is a network building platform and it's different from other social media platform in the sense because on other social media platforms like Instagram Facebook for example you build your company page mm. but here we build our personal profile mm. so get your personal profile in shape pimp it up as uh, so to say in a, in a way yeah. basically pimp it up get a good profile picture get a good statement that shows what you can do get a good summary in place mm -hmm. then you're gonna reach when you reach out to the right people you're gonna engage them in a better way you're gonna look more professional and you're gonna basically build a relationship quicker as well. should people do tags or how do they most effect effectively get their like uh, uh, posts to get shown so to get your post shown the first thing is your voice mm. so what do you actually want to talk about what inspires you so if you can find your inspiration and then also what are you good at what is your expertise what do you do on a daily basis if you can mix up your inspiration with your expertise that's the best way to do it and then just putting out content text post video post uh, picture posts are very good on LinkedIn right now and then tag people start discussions that's a good way to get reach and that's actually the third tip I have as well and one extra bonus tip uh, for your audience here as well is to build a network basically get out to the people you want to connect to write a personal message get them into your network and start connecting and building relationships your network is your net worth and the best networking platform today is LinkedIn if you do it in the right way. And there we finish the basic one. Yes. precis handlar ner till Göteborgs centralstation som ni ser här. Vi ska vidare till Borås och där ska vi hålla en kurs om hur ett företag kan använda LinkedIn bättre. Och sen efter detta så blir det podcastinspelning så vi drar ut till Borås och så kommer vi tillbaka till Göteborg sen i morgon så det ska bli kul. Så uh, nu ska vi väg till att träffa vår kollega Robban och så ska han köra oss mot Borås. Det ska bli väldigt intressant att komma hit också. Hej dagens! Här har vi Robban. <laughs> Hälsa, säg hej till allihopa. Vad ska vi göra för någonting nu Robban? Ja, nu tycker vi inte Borås. Vi 
ska hem och grilla lite grann och, och mysa har det gått och lära dig inför morgon. Ja, vi kollar om det kommer smälla någon tryck nu. Mm. Då ska vi bereda oss. Jag har mycket här. Har du snus också? Ja, vi vill ha. Det är Nu är vi framme äntligen. Så nu är vi ute i Sandare. Det ligger precis utanför Borås. Och Borås är där vi ska hålla kursen. Men nu ska vi gott oss med lite grill. Vad blir det på min idag? Vi är med god och sesesallad med lite kyckling och lite gött om affär. Det tar kanske fint till något. Lika små grejer. Precis ätit hos Robban och vi är färdiga med god mat. Vi fick kycklingssallad, eller sesasallad, det var helt underbart. Så nu ska vi in till hotellet, slappna av och förbereda oss för imorgon. Så, if someone is already on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. they are mastering a little bit. What would be a pro tip? A pro tip usually comes back to thought leadership, building your positioning and becoming an expert in your field with the help of LinkedIn. So it goes back to content. Mm -hmm. Content development, uh, utilizing the right strategy for your content. What is your voice? Really getting down to uh, mapping out your personal brand because LinkedIn is about personal profiles. Mm -hmm. Even if you're in a company, you run your own company, or you're looking for, you're not in any company, you're looking for a job, mm. your personal brand is the key. So map out what is your values, mm. what do you stand for, what are you inspired by, what is your expertise, mm. and then start utilizing that in your content. Basically getting a clear content strategy in place so you can build thought leadership. And then we also have conversion strategies on LinkedIn. Mm. For example, uh, social selling is a big thing right now. Utilizing social selling in the right way on LinkedIn is very, very powerful. And utilizing that with your content and converting your network into business opportunities or career opportunities or whatever you want to have. So that's one of the pro tips. Yeah. So, so what would be a pitch from you if someone is like, okay, Christopher, you seem awesome. Motivate, why would I hire you and what can you do for that? Um, it depends on uh, your situation, of course. Uh, I usually go deep into who you are what you're standing for what you want to get out of linkedin that's the most important part you make it very personal to the, that certain customer exactly because i want to know what you want to get out of it because if we just go in and do some work and it's not actually what you want then it doesn't matter mm. so just getting clear on that strategy is one of the big things and then helping step by step how we build out your linkedin engagement, how we build out your LinkedIn profile, how you utilize LinkedIn, what kind of content you should use, how you actually get the best reach on LinkedIn. So we help with all of that, either on a one-to-one -one basis, we have digital courses, mm. and we also have services where we do everything for you as well. But it depends on your goals, what you want to get out of LinkedIn. When I know that, it's easier for me to help you to get where you want to be. Is there a special kind of customer that you uh, love to work with mostly or you're very wide? Um, I usually like to work with public speakers, experts in their field, mm. coaches, consultants, uh, small to medium sized businesses. Because usually we can do a lot more in, short, in a shorter time period and we can build thought leadership. So that's what I'm inspired by, to build personal brands and thought leadership on LinkedIn. Mm. And also utilizing something we call omnipresence with the help of LinkedIn. 
and those people is the ones that I can help the most. But of course I can help, um, like we can go very wide with LinkedIn because it fits for a lot of people. And the most important thing for me as well is somebody who is ready to do it and wants to do it. The yeah, more so you want you doesn't have to push them so much. It's like exactly. they already have the drive. It still is. You still push the, the person. Yeah, but they're open-minded and they actually want to do it. Mm -hmm. Then we can do a lot more instead of we pushing you up stream basically. Mm -hmm. And it's just a push against the wall, mm -hmm. push upstreams. Somebody who's already ready to do it. And I love to work with those people. In that case, maybe you have to go back and do some groundwork because if, if it takes that much to push you to make your project, maybe you're not doing something that's truly authentic to your heart. Of course, it's about heart coherence, being coherent with what you're doing. But it's also in, in reality, it's usually not going to be like the first thing you get. It's a process to get there just knowing that you're on your way because I didn't start off uh, inspired with what I was doing like mm. you find your way when you work with the right people as well mm. it's about having an open mind and wanting to grow a growth mindset as well mm. that's a big part of it but you need to do some groundwork to get there as well yeah, yeah, yeah. so hit some dead ends and having a lot of cool people that might be before you a couple of steps yeah. taking some tips Working with that, see, mm, no, yes or no, push forward, go back again. Yeah. That's one of the most important things as well. So should you spend hundreds of hours or thousands of hours like we have done, learn it by yourself, doing by failure? So I do, I go to the best experts in our field and I go to the best, best experts internationally to learn from them. Mm -hmm. Because I know having a mentor and somebody who's a couple of steps ahead of you is going to shortcut that Mm. Uh, curve to getting to where you want to be actually mm. so that's an important part and I think most of the most successful people on our planet on planet earth where we are right now if not Elon Musk is going to get us to Mars <laughs> <laughs> uh, they utilize mentors yeah and they do it everybody usually has a mentor I can agree with that and uh, but uh, but also realizing that they will not do all the work for you you still have to push that stone up the hill of until course. you get up the hill and then it starts rolling down and stuff starts it starts feeling real good <laughs> when you get momentum you're gonna yeah. know which hill to push yeah, yeah. the stone up towards as well so how do people contact you if they want to start with this today or uh, next <laughs> <laughs> if you're ready to start right now go to linkedin search for uh, christopher bertelsson it's a swedish name so we probably have to write it up here because yeah uh, i will fix it but it's christopher yeah. with the two f and but it's only two s right exactly and yeah. ch as well so add me on linkedin write a personal message about your goals what you want to accomplish then we can take a conversation from there either if it's with me or with my team and we can help you to utilize this platform the best platform out there right now um, and if if you're inspired by building thought leadership as well and getting out and getting more high quality opportunities because a lot of people think all oh, LinkedIn is this like very professional platform it's professional mm. but it's becoming more and more personal and that's a good thing that we talked about to use do it with your heart and it becomes more authentic mm. and more heart coherent as well mm. so what's your big heart question what's your big mission you, you might have many but what's like uh, one that's might always been there with you so I actually have it on my uh, phone screen here. Yeah, see yeah. here. So I always watch it. This is from one of my mentors, uh, John Demartini. Uh, we went through uh, a thing together and I did this. So I'm an inspired, magnetic, powerful entrepreneur, charismatic and masterful communicator and a savvy leader and influencer. So the reason why I do it is I'm fulfilling my mission to hire the human consciousness. Mm. And technology is a big part of reaching out to people today. And if you give out the right, commu uh, the right communication, the right information, people can start to master their life, uh, utilize technology to live the lives they want, and then they can hire their consciousness at the same time. Mm. So that's my big mission. Oh, that's epic. <laughs> Thank you. Is it something that you think that I missed or something that you want to add on? or? No, I think you did a very good job. Uh, it's more about the watcher or the listener. 
if you want to do this, if you think this message resonates with you as well, connect with me and keep on following this podcast and this these video series as well. I know you do a great job with this and I'm looking forward to seeing your growth as well. Thank you very much, Christopher. Thank you. We will uh, speak more in the future. I hope this made a lot of sense and brought uh, amazing value to you. Max Thorin out. And as always, stay blessed and always be your best. Pa! <laughs>
It was three years ago. I had a digital marketing agency with another business partner. And the way we knew how to get business was basically doing cold calling and going and knocking on doors. Yeah, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, it's a very, very harsh reality <laughs> if you tough. want to... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a startup reality and it's a harsh reality if you want to get new business because nobody likes you, <laughs> nobody wants to hear about you and nobody understands what you're actually doing and how you can help them. So I remember I was out in uh, an industry area outside of Oslo and we were going to knock on this, uh, like it was this uh, potential customer, like a business and an inside of an industry that we wanted to work with. And I went up and I knocked on this door and this older gentleman opened the door and I was like, yes, I'm going to get new business. We're going to get rich. I'm going to get successful. It's a dollar sign. Ching, ching. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I saw all these uh, things in my mind and I was like, hey, my name is Christopher and I want to help you with digital marketing. And he looked at me and he looked very angry and he's like, no, thank you. And Slammed just, the door. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I went back and it was a very, very like, it was a very dark moment because my reality got basically uh, yeah, squashed. So I thought, okay, I need to do something else or we need to do something else if, we are, if I'm going to survive this startup and even become successful or do something else. So we went back and I, th I thought about, okay, how can I reach these people that we want to reach? So it was marketing managers inside of uh, B2B businesses. Yeah, yeah. And then I thought about, okay, LinkedIn, it's like it's this professional platform and I just created a profile. Mm. So I started trying out the platform and I got some success and a lot of failures as well. So I tried a lot of things and I failed as well. So I've done like all of the failures <laughs> I talk about and teach about as well. So I'm not perfect. Yeah. Uh, and basically I started to get results and I got a very valuable business network yeah. and we got the customers we wanted to work with and we didn't need to uh, cold call anymore or knock on doors. Yeah. So we had a channel that we could reach the people we wanted to reach yeah. and use for creating new business opportunities. Mm -hmm. And after this, I saw that uh, I was inside of this business network, mm -hmm. business networking group, mm -hmm. and I asked my networking peers who here has a LinkedIn profile or uses LinkedIn mm. and everybody um, took their hand up and mm. I asked, okay, who here knows actually how to strategically use LinkedIn and <laughs> nobody, yeah, and nobody answered yes. I was like, okay, here's an opportunity. Right, cool. And that's how I started with it and went forth with it. That's really cool. And I can definitely relate to for one year, uh, I tried, I was the key account manager of the startup and my job was also the same as yours to create a cooperation with B2B marketers and other businesses. And I was cold calling like crazy. I'm trying to figure out ways to get some cooperation. And eventually my former boss at UNICEF was like, you should create a LinkedIn profile and contact them through there. And you managed to find everybody. Now do you manage to get the cooperation? That's another thing. Yeah. But you managed to find everybody who's relevant and it made things much more easy. So I definitely think without trying to say I know what LinkedIn is about, it's a good platform to find people and be found. Yes, it is. It's a very powerful platform for that, actually. And if you know how to structure a communication and relationship building, you can get a lot of good results, actually. And so I think it's powerful. It's very good that you've uh, tried it as well and got yeah. some success. Yeah, definitely. Um, so what would you say that LinkedIn is different from the other social media platforms? Like, well, I don't have Instagram, so I don't really know. But I've, I heard that you're supposed to follow more people. No, no. You're supposed to be followed more than you follow. That's rule number one. And that's like, okay, then you're cool. <laughs> like, um, so LinkedIn is actually, it has changed and evolved a little bit the last year. Mm. So last one and a half years, because uh, one and a half year ago, Microsoft bought LinkedIn oh, really? uh, for, I think it was $26 billion. Jesus. So they're doing a lot of moves inside of the professional field right now, which are very smart and very genius. Mm -hmm. So after they bought LinkedIn, uh, they changed the platform. So they changed the design so it's more simpler. Mm -hmm. And then they actually made it into a more social media oriented platform. Okay. So... Uh, you maybe noticed that there's a lot of a lot more engagement right now on LinkedIn. So there's more stuff happening. People are posting things and things are actually happening right now. Like two years ago, there was no activity there at all. Mm -hmm. So it's because of this that Microsoft bought it up and mm -hmm. created this social media platform around it. Mm -hmm. 
So because of this, it has become a professional social media platform. Professional so, social media platform. Yeah, and this is I very like it's very interesting actually because in comparison to Facebook or Instagram, yeah. Facebook has people are tired of Facebook right Dude, now. Dude, Facebook is so boring. I feel like <laughs> bad. I keep scrolling down looking for something that never comes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the news feed. Yeah. So that's true. Uh, Facebook is in a very bad place, but uh, it's still good to keep in contact with friends and family and Definitely. stuff. Uh, so yeah. there's some benefits there. Definitely. But on LinkedIn, it's like it's pure professionalism. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned before, there's mm -hmm. people sharing success stories, mm -hmm. people helping each other out. And it's more affluent, uh, like you meet more affluent people. Yeah. And it's more, I think it's... Like it's different because you get support on LinkedIn and you get people there. You definitely do. Like I, I've noticed your community, like whenever somebody puts up something, you guys are like, that's great. That's, you guys are always supporting each other. Uh, yeah, it, it is a platform for people to present themselves professionally. But sometimes you want to see some videos that are kind of like, <clears throat> hey, do you want to be the best at something? Well, f click on my link. And, uh, but it's definitely a place for people to present themselves. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I wanted to get to the bottom of this. So for the people watching this, how did they create an ideal LinkedIn platform for them? How, how, what are their main areas to think about just to get to the seed of this? Yeah, so the main areas uh, you should have in place first mm -hmm. is to have a clear strategy on why you should use LinkedIn. So what is the reason? Do you want to get a new job? Do you want to work in a specific company? Do you work to work inside of a specific field? Or do you just want to develop your career or get a more valuable business network? Okay. So when you have that in place, the second thing is to know which kind of people you need to reach to accomplish that goal that you had before. Target. Okay. So who are these people that you need to have in your network to yeah. be able to reach that goal that you set in the first step? Okay. And then the third step mm. is to update your personal profile. So your personal profile on LinkedIn is the most important thing you have. So it's basically when you network in real life, how you dress, how you communicate, that's basically you and how you're going to attract the people based on that and you're going to communicate with the people as well. So on LinkedIn, it is your personal profile. So your personal profile is like yourself in real life. So it needs to be structured based on your goals and based on these people you want to attract. And the biggest mistake I see people doing on LinkedIn is that they actually talk more about themselves than about the people and the benefits that they can give to these people that they want to attract to their network. So just by focusing on the people you want to reach and you want to talk to, you're going to create a more attractive profile and it's going to be optimized based on your goals. And then when you have your profile in place, you can start building your networks that is based on these goals. So you can start building relationships with these people that are going to help you to reach the goal you set in the first step. How am I sure that people are so open to help me though? I can have the coolest, hottest profile and I know exactly who I want to target. But why would people be bothered to help me? Is it just because they're like, oh, this, this looks like a legit guy. You know, like his profile's on point. His words are on point. He can create value just the same way as if they maybe saw me in real life. We're like, okay, he doesn't look like a nuthead. Uh, like I want to do business with him. Yeah. Is it the same thing kind of? So uh, the way you actually uh, get, in, like, get people interested is to bring value first. The value you can create for them. Yes. So you go into, uh, the way you can do it is go, go into their profile, mm. look at their interests, look at what kind of content they're engaging with, mm. what kind of people do they have in their network. And based on that, you can yeah, structure basically a way to bring value. So a way to bring value can be, you can give them some resources, you can give them some insights, or you can just tell them that you, you would like to help inside of their industry or you want to connect to like-minded people inside of this industry. And this creates a context and uh, a point then where you have synergy and where you actually can help each other out. And then you're going to be, they're going to be much more likely to see the value of having you inside of their network. <clears throat> Okay, you gave a really good overall idea of how to do that, but are there any more specific narrow? We're talking a good profile picture, not kind of, probably not the selfie type, like not that type <laughs> of pro, it's supposed to be like, I'm serious, like, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. A good status. You say that like, I'm not supposed to be like, oh, I'm the coolest guy in town. And you're supposed to be more like, I can create value for this 
area. Are there any more specific good profile picture, a good explanation about the value that you can create? Anything else? So um, I think just the most important thing is to base your profile off uh, like the people you want to reach. And a good profile picture is important. And then you have uh, your headline as well. Headline. So your headline. Status. Yeah, like the, the, top, uh, the top line of your profile, basically. Yeah. Because this is the first thing that they're going to see. Mm. The first thing is actually your profile picture. Mm. And I've had people using selfie pictures where they look like this, and they've had good results actually. Oh, really? Because just having a profile picture makes a difference, but a good profile picture is going to make even a bigger difference. So what I recommend is to get a professional photographer and just, yeah, <laughs> and pose for a good picture basically. Yeah, yeah. And look open, be yourself, but still in a professional context. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then your headline. So basically your headline, should say what kind of value you can bring to mm. these people that you want to attract mm. and you want to uh, network with. Mm. Okay, anything else? There are people who put up like, you know, you, you can see like, like Jesus Christ, how many places have you worked in? You know, like some people like, even on Facebook you see like, went to Vidrigo and Skola, went to this school, worked at blah, blah, blah. It's like 20 people and they're like 21 years old. Uh, maybe I suppose you want to be a little bit more like strategic on what, where you like where you've worked and stuff? Or do you want to throw everything in there? So... Because uh, you said that it's kind of like a CV. It's like a... It's like, it's a like the next generation of CV because it's a living thing. It's uh, a living thing. Yeah, because you change it and it develops based on what you're doing and you can put a content out there. Yeah, yeah. You can put videos out there. Yeah. Uh, and I like that. It's like the next CV. It's like the modern CV. Yeah, it is. And mm -hmm. it's becoming more and more important in mm -hmm. the professional life. And yep. I see, I thought it, like in Scandinavia in general, we are the most active like part of the world when it comes to LinkedIn actually right now. It makes sense. We're usually like the pioneers of our, like progressive stuff. So it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so it's very good. I'm yeah. very happy about that actually. Uh, but the thing is, um, going back to uh, like all your experiences. Yeah. So you shouldn't just put in experiences just to have a lot of experiences. No. So try to be selective and yeah. base it on your strategic goal that you put in the first step that we went through actually. Interesting. So it's better to have two uh, relevant experiences yeah. based on what you want to have than mm. to have 20 not so relevant. And when it comes to work and workplaces, so usually the longer you've worked at places, the better it is. The more you have changed workplaces, the more you look, uh, it can look a little bit flaky, mm. like you uh, jump in and out of work. Uh, yeah, that's the same in the CV. When it comes off as like you changing job every two months, that's not a good, that's not a good thing. Um, yeah, so we're, I think we're gonna summarize a little bit. Is there anything else you think is like important to add or we can start summarizing the whole interview? What do you think? Uh, so I would actually like to uh, inspire people to uh, use LinkedIn right now because it's a big opportunity and there's a lot of businesses jumping on uh, right now. So it's very hot and uh, so there's a lot of opportunities for people who are the first ones to jump on things like this. Mm -hmm. So in the social media space, Facebook was uh, here in 2010. So you had a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Instagram was this uh, was at the same place in 2013. And LinkedIn is here right now. So you can take positions, mm -hmm. you can get a lot of engagement and you can get very, very good results because a lot of people hasn't uh, have hasn't used up the platform yet is a it's it's maybe a bad thing to say but there is less competition yeah. and for the people who take positions right now it's going to be very beneficial uh, beneficial in 12 months or six months even and especially if you want to get a job like mm. if you want to get a job inside of a specific field yeah. linkedin is um, like it's you must nearly be on LinkedIn right now and have a good profile, have a profile that are structured in the proper way to get to that goal. I think that's really relevant for us students because I think that all of us, when we finish with our degree, we're gonna, we probably have an idea of where we want to work and how we want to work. And I think it doesn't hurt to create a LinkedIn profile. So the different steps to think about is having a clear strategy for why you're getting it. Is it a specific job you want? Is it to uh, create a valuable business network? or just have a, a specific company to join in. And then afterwards, when you have uh, targeted that, you figure out who you need to contact to make that happen. And you kind of create your profile depending on that. Um, 
And also, don't be only talking about yourself. Talk more about the value you can create for others because that's initially what people pay you for. Not you just being you, but actually the value that you create for your environment. So I'm definitely gonna go home and make some changes to my LinkedIn profile after this talk. So yes, um, that's very good. Thank you so much for being here today, Christopher. And um, yeah, I hope to see you again, maybe in the future and your uh, future businesses that you're gonna be doing. Thank you very much. Jag skulle verkligen rekommendera det här till fler. Vi har haft en kanonförmiddag här och gått igenom hur vi kan förbättra vår närvaro på LinkedIn och hur vi kan hitta nya möjligheter och nya möjliga kontakter den vägen. Det skulle vara väldigt spännande att se vad det här kommer ge i vår försäljning. Hur, hur mycket som omsätts i verkliga deals. Ja, det här var otroligt nyttigt för oss att få en ordentlig genomgång av hur vi kan använda LinkedIn bättre för att nå våra kunder och, och hitta nya kontakter och sprida information om vad vi gör. Jag har varit kanon. Tack!